All right, that's great. Let me shift gears and move to As Seen on TV because um, it's, it's a wave right now, As Seen on TV, little gadget products, and many of the uh, submission companies are reputable and do not require a patent because it's a first-to-market strategy, which we've addressed in other blogs. But I'd like to ask you, are there concerns or... or um, or why would that be all right to just throw your concept stage? Okay, again, it's the business model that you're, you're creating. If you have a product that really is in and out of the marketplace in a very short period of time, you know, some kind of crazy wave of you know, pet rock, for example, yeah. you, you can't get a patent on pet rock. I mean, how are you going to do that? Uh, you might want to put a name on it, and that may be as much protection as you can get. Uh, you may not be able to patent. Sometimes you may just want to get a provisional application and have that patent pending on it as a fair warning, and that could be a, enough of a scare tactic to, to, to keep people away while you get in and out of the marketplace. Again, it takes a business model. If it's a long-term product that's going to stay on the shelves for many years, it's always best to try to get patent protection on it because that way you know we can infringe on it. Also, a name that's going to be sticking in people's mind. Apple, yeah. in the iPad, you know, in the iPod, and those things. They're going to stick in people's mind, and you're always going to go to those products. Yeah, that's great. Well, you've been so helpful. Thank Thanks you. again for your distinguished career and all the help that you've done for Thank everyone. You. And it's a pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.